What's up guys, welcome back to our Road to Dark Aether series. On our last episode, our top comment was from Matt saying he wants us to use the MAC-10, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now I have the MAC-10 pretty camoed up. I have everything except criticals, which has been the story of every one of these videos. But we only have like 500 to do, and I say only, but that's still, that's still a lot. Anyways, here's our build for it. I'm using the Agency Suppressor, 6.5 Rifled Barrel, Ember Sighting Point, the, you got the Speed Grip, 53 Round Fast Mag, Airborne Elastic, and the SAS Combat Stop. You probably don't need a stock for this. You probably don't need any of these attachments, really. But I like how it looks. It plays pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and hop into some Firebase Z and try to get this done. All right, here we are. Back with our twin, reunited. And we're back on Firebase here. We've been playing a lot of uh, D-Machine recently, so it's it's good to be back home. Firebase is my home. We get a little extra points for doing this. It feels like my controls are de way delayed. It's weird. So we really just need to get all these critical kills. Got to focus on them and we should be, be able to get them done and get out of here. So just uh, a few days ago, the carve rifle got released. It is attack rifle. I have both videos for it uh, of me using it in multiplayer up right now. If you guys want to check those out, it's me getting it dark matter and then me going over uh, behind cover kills since we finally had a gun to show it off with. Let's grab this max ammo, get some loose change and I'm going to try to get the power on as fast as possible. I want the, the speed run world record for getting the power on on Firebase Z. I think the fastest I've ever gotten on was six rounds. So I wanna try to get it on at five. I don't know if it's possible though. I think the last time we tried it, we got it on at around, like right as round five ended and turned around six. So let's try to lead all these guys over to the door and we're gonna get everything done as fast as possible. Only kill the zombies we need to kill. And I think what's really important for getting the power on as fast as we can is before before this reactor blows up, run out of there. Try to lead as many zombies out as we can and bring them over to the jug reactor. So we need to make sure we're really timing our kills here. How much do we need? 1250 to get that open. So we're only going to get the kills that we need. Okay, a little more. Okay, we have enough to open it. Now let's go over and get our loose change. Okay, we need 500 to start the reactor. Okay, that's not the round yet. We just need a little more. Here's one. Okay, 505. Let's go ahead and start the reactor. Now, every kill we get from this point on will go towards these reactors as long as we're in here. Okay, that's the last zombie for this round. Round four. We have very little charge. Let's see if we can get a little bit more. I'm going to keep this nade. I'm going to cook it and throw it down there if I need to. I don't think we'll take nearly enough damage to have this thing not work, but just in case. Okay, they're starting to run a little bit. Oh, double points. Perfect. We need this. So we need to take advantage. Okay, we're at 900. We just need, what, 1700 to get the next one up? Door in reactor included. Okay, let's pay attention to our charge here. One more kill should do it. Okay, now we're running. We're running. Come on, zombie. Don't go in there. And it killed him anyways? Okay. So I don't think it's possible to get the reactor started while going for the next one. We're doing the exact opposite pack, actually. So why don't you fuck off? Okay, this reactor is on. It's still round four. Let's make sure we're still getting our critical kills in because that's what we're here for. Okay, just a little more charge. Is this the last zombie in the round? No, there's still a few. There's still a few. We got it. No, we don't need that nuke. That's the exact opposite of what we need. Okay, the round's over. So now we can hit it. Get those extra points from it. That's not going to affect this starting round if we get it in between them. Now there's only a little bit charge left. We're very close. Just like probably these zombies here and then it's charged. Yep. Get these crits while we can. Okay, on to the last one. It is still round five. We have 5,000. We have more than enough money to get in. We need to buy ammo, so we'll have to do that on the way. Come on, zombie. No time to waste. All right, almost there to the next reactor. I've not killed a single zombie since we got the last reactor on. Let's start this up. Let's go up, grab our loose change before it starts flooding in here. And hopefully we can get it done before the round ends. So if we can get a round five power on, that might be our, our, our personal best. There's probably been people to get it earlier than round five when there was like the pile up glitch where you can just skip the first door entirely and saving that money would be huge for this. Oh, an insta kill. Okay, one more. That's it. Okay, it's still round five and we have all power reactors on. Okay, so we, we definitely beat our personal best. You see, there still are zombies running around. There's at least two and we have the power completely on. So I'm I'm glad we did that. Actually, that's a that's a success right there. A successful mission. Look at this. We can pack a punch at round five. World's fastest pack a punch. Maybe not in like real world time, but we, we pack a punched on round five. I That's pretty good, actually. All right, let's go ahead and get Jug. Hold on. Okay, now let's do it. Come on. No time to waste, bunny. 
Come on. There we go. Fastest pack-a-punch in the West. Okay, where's the next one? There it is. No! Mimic, fuck off. This is what you get, Mimic. Oh, armor. Let's go. Okay. So I know we went over the smiley face theory and it's been debunked based on rarity, but I'm the color purple right now. So if you get this thing to land on purple, like right there, will I get a legendary gun? No. Okay. So maybe it is all completely random or I could have messed it up there. Oh, it looked like it did stop on green, I guess. But another theory I had is what if it stopped on the player that opened it? What if the smiley face stopped on their color? It was their better chance of a better weapon. Apparently not. We got jug and a pack a punch weapon by round six. I think that's pretty good. Oh, some bonus points for our troubles. But if you guys can, if you guys want to try and go ahead and like see how quickly you can get uh, power on, like if you can get it on by round four, you can beat my round five. I want to see it. Go ahead and like, go ahead and tweet it at me over at my Twitter at uh, JMON3Y26. If you guys, if you guys do that, I want to, I want to see it. I want to see how you did it too. If, if you could, well, let's go ahead. Let's get quick revive just in case. I don't want to burn through myself revive this early. All right, let's get a few extra kills here so we can get all of our perks. Make sure we're only going for headshots. This is too easy. Need 400 more though. Oh, double points. Let's get it. This is weird. I feel like I, I, I click to pull the trigger on my gun and it happens three seconds later. Yeah, I feel like I'm wasting a little bit of ammo because of it. Oh, well. Okay, let's get dead shot next. And a little bit of stamina off. Now, once we get enough to have speed cola, we're going to go ahead and sit colonel's office until we have enough to come back here and pack a punch so it shouldn't be too long oh we can also upgrade while we're here let's do that get the fuck off me people are telling me you can just back up to get out of here because it's way more you know it's way more consistent than trying to click out of it or hit escape so fuck me dude fuck nukes i do not i no one ever means to run into a nuke but at least now we know how to get out of this menu without getting hit as easy look look how consistent that is actually i don't even need an ads to get these just walk at them and shoot. Easy crits. Okay, just need a little more cash. We can get our next perk and then go sit in the actual working spot. Okay, that's not a nuke this time. I'll take those bonus points. So let's get our last perk. That is not the perk machine. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, we'll get that. We don't need elemental pop until way later. So let's clear out the rest of this round here. And then in between rounds, we'll head over to Colonel's. Okay, round's over. Let's head to KFC. First grab ammo. You can't grab it while crouching in case, uh, in case you're wondering, but I can almost guarantee within the next round, there will be a max ammo since I just purchased ammo. It's literally coded into the game. All right, let's hang out here. Dead. Oh, there's an insta kill. We'll take that. They just tap at head height. Crits are so easy in this game now, but it's round 10. Well, actually, I think by round nine, we had a pack of punched weapon and all perks. I think we got off to a really good start this game. Very efficient. Oh, not max ammo. I'm going to prove myself wrong, but I have seen the, the buy ammo. Then max ammo appears a lot more on die machine than this map. All right, come on, zombies. Be a little faster. This little room looks comfy. I'm not going to lie. Oh, none of those were crits right there. I just got to tap instead of spray. Get off me. All right. Now we just need to double our, our crits and we got it. Speaking of double. Also, I'm recording this right after I just got done recording a, a video playing COD Mobile. I'm not going to give away too much of my opinion here on, you know, what I thought about COD Mobile. But I'll just say recording the video was a lot of fun. So I think you guys should check it out. But also I've been seeing, you know, these rumors pop up over and over again. Like every time there's a new update, it's always zombies camos are going to be coming to Warzone. And, you know, these rumors have popped up since Warzone and Black Ops have integrated and you've gotten to be able to use all the Black Ops camos in it. But every time the rumor comes around, everyone says it's more real than the last time. And that, you know, you'll be able to use Dark Aether in Warzone. What do you guys think? Do you think we're actually going to be able to get Dark Aether and Warzone before, you know, this COD's life cycle is over? Or do you think they're going to try to attempt it, not make it work, and then, you know, forget about it once the new COD comes out? Or what do you guys think is going to happen here? I personally would love to see Dark Aether come into Warzone. I think it would look really nice on, on over on the Modern Warfare engine. But we all know how some of the Cold War camos look on the Modern Warfare engine. Some of them look fine, but then you also have Diamond camo, which is probably the best, one of the best looking camos in this this game on Warzone looks so bad. It looks like they bedazzled the gun. Like it, 
is awful. So even even if they do add zombies camos over to Warzone, I don't even know if they're going to be good, to be honest. But there's always the chance that they are. You know, we, we like to hold out hope here. Okay, which tunnel are they coming through? This one. Assault waves are so easy. Is that it? That's it. Literally, my, my ring of fire is still going. It just now ended. All right, we got 20,000 now. So let's go ahead and go back. Get pack two. Go ahead and put an ammo mod on here. And then we'll be set until we have enough for pack three. Okay, pack two. Get an ammo mod. Oh, let's go. Guess the kill's a good ammo mod. I am rocking cryo freeze here. This is probably one of the better ones for camo grinding, especially with like automatic weapons. You get way more freezes and everything. It's just, I think it's just really nice for grinding these camos out. I guess we'll we'll chill here for a second since we're kind of we're schmeating out with this insta kill. Let's rack on all the crits that we can, and we're getting close. We're only 100 away now, so we might be able to exfil with the next round. This will be the most efficient camo grinding zombies gameplay anyone has ever seen. All right, we made it back to KFC, home of the Colonel's office. Time to just get crits until this this shit's over, and we're we're inching so much closer to Dark Aether every time we play this. Like if I wasn't making videos on this, we would have had Dark Aether like eight months ago. Robocop's on his way. All right, thanks for coming. Okay, we got an exfil window open right now. We're at 336 crits. So if we can get 70 before that window closes and get out of here, this will go down as the most efficient camo grinding zombies game ever, ever done. We're getting there. 50 away. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. No head, no problem. She just said no head, no problem. This is how skateboards get broken. So no head. I don't know if there's enough zombies in this round to be able to get it. No, we're going to miss our exfil. All right, let's try to get these crits as close to the exfil window as possible. We're going to do it right next to right next to the little radio. Come on. No, the exfil option's over. It was all for nothing. We're about to get gold in a second here too. Just barely off. We would have got every single kill in this game a crit. We'd be out of here right now. All right, that's it. These zombies got me pissed off. They destroyed our, our most efficient game ever. So now I'm just going to farm crits off of them. As if I wasn't doing that before. We're at 421, almost on the weed number. Barely over. I guess we need a little more. Oh, maybe we need 500. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I can't do math. I think this whole time we needed 500 and I thought I was close. I'm such an idiot. Oh, well. Either way, we got power on at round five. No one can take that away from me. Unless they get it on faster. Oh, there it is. Finally. We got Gold Viper on the Mac 10. Get the fuck off me. Everyone get the fuck off me. Just after our exfil window closes. I think I'm going to finish out this round and then I'm going to let them kill me. Starting the next one. Because right now, I'm kind of having fun lasering them. Actually, I have an idea. I want a whole group of crawlers to kill me. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and grab Pack-a-Punch 3. Yeah, just in case I need a little thumbnail. Because Pack-a-Punch 3 looks kind of fucking hot. Look at this. All right, now let's let's train them all around this plane. I want a big group of crawlers. I'm gonna use all these nades, and then I'm just gonna lay down and, and let them get me. Let's herd them like sheep. Come on, little ones. All right, first nades out. Okay, did that really make them all into crawlers immediately? Am I a genius? No, that should always be the answer if I ask that question. Let's try it again. There we go. I, I think it's just straight up killing all of them. We have some crawlers. Oh, please don't kill our crawlers with it. Okay, we're making a few more. Okay, one nade left. Let's get this last group of runners together away from our little baby crawlers. I did not cook that long enough. Uh oh, okay. Well, these guys are just gonna go away. All we have is our little crawler buddies here. Let's, let's train them together so they're all you know, the whole family's here. Come on, little ones. Oh, wait, this guy's kind of lacking behind. Let's get let's get the whole family together. <laughs> they look so funny down there. All right. Come eat up, children. This looks so weird this close up. Why do they have to, like, show me their, their neck to hit me? Let's crawl with them. We are one. Still, I don't understand how they crawl on their, their hands like this. Well, their feet are just right in front of them. They are folded like this. They are, they are flat. How are they faster than me? Oh, probably because they're not crawling by scooting their ass across the carpet like a dog. I'm coming, boys. Wait up. Wait for me. Where are they even crawling to? TGI Friday is just open. Oh, they're stuck. They're kissing. 
No PDA here. All right, we, we finally succumbed to our injuries. Let's go ahead and see what this MAC-10 looks like. All right, this is what Gold Viper looks like on the MAC-10. It looks absolutely disgusting. I will never find a weapon that looks good with Gold Viper. Plague Diamond looks sick. The coverage is very nice. This purple looks amazing on it. Plague Diamond's really grown on me. Dark Aether looks very good, but I wish they'd put it on more than just like the base gun. Like the, the coverage is not good on it. Why is this? Why even like go for it if it's going to cover just the very little amount of the gun? I know a lot of the DLC weapons have way better coverage, but I wish they'd go back and, you know, tweak the older guns. But we are still six out of nine. Let's get some nices in the comments. But we're one SMG away from Plague Diamond SMGs. And we're also, I think, one tack rifle away. Okay, maybe two let's go ahead and check i already have a class for the carve i may have worked on it a little bit oh we need three tack rifles so we can use the carve the type 63 and the aug those would be my choices for tack rifles but the ball's in your court we have one smg left to do three tack rifles and four ars and then we will have dark aether assuming that we don't get it early uh, through the glitch that I've seen a lot of people get it. But with that being said, go ahead and leave your suggestions below. I won't be taking suggestions from weapons that aren't in our classes that we don't have Plague Diamond for yet, but go ahead and leave them below. Our top comment will be the weapon that we use in the next Road to Dark Aether. But I think that's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. If not, dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. But all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.